Hello, Jared Koff here, joined by the one and only Dave Buck. Good to see you, Dave. Yeah. I'm going to show you one of the old tricks that you just don't see perform much these days. It uses the four aces from earlier. I'm gonna place those aside where you can keep your eye on them. And I'm also gonna use some extra cards. I won't use the entire pack, we're just gonna speed things along, I'll just use a few. Now, when I laid the aces down here, you didn't happen to memorize the sequence of the aces. And if I rearrange them, you have no chance, right? So that sequence is random. I'm going to lay the aces out here in that sequence so that you can see them, but you just don't know which is which, right? At the end of this, I don't want to be accused of using extra aces. Now, this is your pack of playing cards. You can attest the fact that there aren't extra aces among these, but I'll prove it. I'll show you. There are no extra aces among these. These are just odd, indifferent cards. Plain as day, yeah. right? Now, I'll place a card on top of each ace, followed by a second and a third, because I had 12 cards to begin with, all right? Now, whichever ace you choose, that's the one we use. There's no equivocation about it whatsoever. So, which one would you like? Go with that one. Right? That one there? Are you sure? Because you can change your mind to the others. Yeah, I want you no, to be satisfied. Sure. That one right there. All right, I'm gonna push that one over here where you can keep your eye on it. I want you to take your right hand and place it right on top of that packet. Now, watch this. You're not gonna believe this, look. I know that looks pretty foolish, but look what it accomplishes. You see, there's not an ace among any of these cards anymore. And there isn't one here, and there isn't one over here either. Just as I promised, lift up your hand, and let's take a peek, shall we? Yeah. That's all four aces, Dave. Nice. Beautifully done. Well done. Thank you very much.